let's calculate standard deviation. Now the formula for standard deviation uh, differs depending on whether you are calculating a population or a sample. Uh, they're very similar but with one slight difference. So first let's talk about a population. So if you know with the data given that is a population, then the standard deviation is calculated sigma equals the square root of the sum of squares over the, uh, the sample size, which would be a capital N. Now, the numerator of this is found by taking each data value minus the mean of that the data set, excuse me. So each data value of the data set minus the mean of the data set, you square that value for each data value of the data set, and then we're going to add them together. Now, I do this in a table. Uh, that way I can keep everything organized, and we'll talk through that as we work through an example. So you'll notice with a population, we divide by n, the sample size, before we take the square root. Now, if we are dealing with a sample, and I would say in real life, the majority of our surveys or our data collection is a sample, and therefore, we're going to find the standard deviation by taking uh, the formula S, which is the sample standard deviation, equals the square root of, again, the sum of squares, so the x minus x bar squared, sum of all of those, over n minus 1. So our denominator is now sample size minus 1. That's the only difference in the formulas. So just keep that in mind as we go. Now let's talk through some of the, the uh, variables that we're going to be using. So we've already talked about n, where n is the sample size. Whether that's a population or a sample, that's the size of our, our data values, data set. Um, we're going to be using either sigma or s, which stands for the standard deviation. Again, population or sample. The x is the individual data point. So, um, you know, we're going to have a number of pieces of data within our data set. Each one of those is recognized as an individual data point, which we will note by x. x bar is the mean of our data set. And I believe um, that's all we're really going to need right now. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get into our example. And through this example, we are going to um, create a table. We're going to do this by hand. Okay, so for our example, we are going to just use a small sample size of five. Um, and our five values are going to be 70, 74, 80, 84, and 92. So with those five values, we are going to calculate the sample standard deviation. Okay, that is our goal, is to calculate the, the sample standard deviation. Now, I'm going to uh, work through five steps to do this. So as we talk through the five steps, we will do them and create a table. Now, step one is to calculate or find x bar, which is the mean of the data set. So we need this because that's part of creating our table. So for our x bar, we need to find the mean. Now we know we have five values. So we're gonna add 70, 74, 80, 84, and 92 together. So when I add those five values, I get 400. And because there are five of them, I will divide by five. So 400 divided by 5 gives me a mean of 80. So our x bar value equals 80. That's step one. Now for step two, we are going to start our table. So step two, the table. Column one in the table is going to be to list all data points. Okay, so in our table, our first column, um, the column heading is X, and then we're going to list our five values underneath that. So 70, 74, 80, 84, and 92. So that's column one. Now, I like to do columns two and three at the same time. So column two is the X minus X bar column. So for each data point, we are going to subtract the sample mean, which we found in step one, it's 80. 
And then in column three, we're going to square that. So we're gonna take the x minus x bar that we found, that value, and then square it. So let's do that for each value. Okay, so my second column, I'm gonna write the heading x minus x bar. And then in my third column, my heading is x minus x bar in parentheses, and I'm going to square that. Okay, so now let's think through. For our first data point, it's 70. So I would take 70 minus 80, because x bar is 80, which gives me an, that value of negative 10. When I square that, right, so negative 10 is column 2. When I square that in column 3, I get 100. And this is what I'm going to do for each value. So then my second value is 74. So 74 minus 80 gives me negative 6. Column 3, I'll take that negative 6 and I'll square it, and I'll get 36. Now the third value is 80. So if I take 80 minus 80, I get 0. This is fabulous because 0 squared is just 0. Fourth value is 84. So 84 minus 80 gives me 4. Move to the third column, 4 squared is 16. And my last value, 92 minus 80 is 12, 12 squared is 144. Okay, I like to do this because it keeps everything organized and I have a clear cut of what's happening. All right, so I have three columns in my table. Now I'm moving on to step three, which is sum the squared column, which is column three. Uh, we do this because remember when I read the formula, the numerator is the sum of x minus x bar squared. That's the numerator within my formula. So I'm going to add up those five values from column three. So 100 plus 36 plus zero plus 16 plus 144, and I get a total of 296. So the sum of my third column is 296. Okay, so that's 296. That's step three. Now, step four. We are going to take, um, so we're working inside the formula right now. So remember that the formula for standard deviation uh, for the sample is the square root of the sum of squares divided by n minus one. So now we're going to do that sum of squares 296 divided by the n minus one. And because our sample size is five, 5 minus 1 is 4. So we're going to take 296 divided by 4, which is 74. And in case you haven't played with variance, this is actually the variance, because variance is that formula without the square root. And step 5 is to take the square root of the variance. So if we take the square root of 74, we end up with roughly 8.6 which is the standard deviation. So let's just talk through this formula one more time. So the formula is S equals the square root of the sum of X minus X bar squared all over N minus one. In our table, the sum of column three gave us the numerator. And then we took our sample size minus one for the denominator, which is how I got the square root of 296 divided by four and rounded to the nearest tenth gave me 8.6. So I like to work this in steps because when I break it down to those five steps of find the mean uh, in step one, create the table, columns one, two, and three for step two, I square column three for step three, divide it by my n minus one and step four, and then step five, take the square root, and now I have my standard devi deviation.